I've been spending a lot of time exploring the quieter areas of my city lately. It was a goal that I set out for myself earlier this year, and I'm committing to it. Street photography has always been a stressful experience for me. I'm very passionate about it. I love doing it. But at the same time, I hate it. The failures, the fear, all the confrontations and chaos, it adds up. Some photographers can deal with it better, but not me. So taking these short breaks from it is something that I'm testing out for myself. Think of it as recovery. I'm still working the same muscles, but at a slower pace. It's my reset button. At first, it always felt like I was wasting my time when I did these photo walks. I'm out here for days making photos that won't fit in with the rest of my work. These photos were all shot without direction or a concept in mind. I don't put the same amount of care into them because they're not really meant for an audience. But the more I did it, the more I realized how important this was to help me maintain a healthy relationship with photography. I think we often forget that photography is about more than just the photos. The process and experience is equally as important. If you're not enjoying the process, it's going to take a toll on you. And eventually, you're going to burn out and give up. So instead of trying to push through this barrier, I decided to take a step back. I'm doing something completely different, and I'm giving myself a chance to find inspiration in other areas.
the choice of using black and white film for this was obvious. It's perfect for what I'm trying to do here. There's a lot less to think about when I shoot in black and white. It's easier. I can put my focus solely on the basics. Lighting, contrast, and composition. The concentration it takes to shoot film keeps you zoned into the process. You can stay present and filter out all the distractions. On top of that, the sounds you get coming from these vintage cameras is pure joy. I don't think I use film as a creative tool anymore. For me, it's almost a form of therapy. If you've made it this far, I guess you might be expecting me to share the things that I've learned from doing this and tell you how you can apply it to your photography. But honestly, I don't have the answers. At least not yet. This is something that I've only started recently, so I'm not sure what kind of long-term effect it'll actually have on my photography. But what I do know is that I've been loving it so far. It's given me the break that I've always wanted, and also a push to explore new places. It could be a walk around the neighborhood or a long drive to somewhere that's hours away. The outcome is the same. I'm learning a lot about myself and my photography. And I'm having a ton of fun while doing it. It's unfortunate that I'll be away for the most part of this year. I was really looking forward to doing more of this during the summer. But you know what? I think it's working. I'm motivated again. My mind is clear. And I'm ready to jump right back into the fire.